In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to organize your electronics workspace. In this video, you might hear some 3D printing sounds in the background because I'm going to be 3D printing something. So just take that into consideration. Anyway, this is my first awesome 3D print. This is a holder for jumper wires slash jumper cables. You can organize them by size, type, etc. And you can see that there are 30 different slots in here. Really, really useful. The next 3D print I used that I really love is this thing right here. You can see you can organize different tools, different pencils. You can also put your different SD cards and other things like that. A little bit of solder there. And of course, for both of these, I'll be linking them in the description to the Thingiverse page. But yeah, this is really good. And it printed perfectly for me. If you're like me, you do a lot of hot gluing and a hot glue gun holder with a little bit of a space to put for the hot glue to drip in is really helpful. So highly recommended by me. Now here is somewhat of a new addition to the workspace. You can see I have this large container here. You can do whatever you want with these types of containers. And you can see in here, we got some server motors, DC motors, lots of different things related to motors slash power. I've also got my resistor box right here. Because you know, gotta have all those resistors. There goes the 3D printer in the background. Here you can see lights and sounds. Got my LEDs organized. Lots of different lights, things like that. Cool. I've also got switches. Now that's all kinds of switches. So I've even got things like transistors, but I've got momentary switches, more permanent switches, other things like that. I have some capacitors and diodes in here. And then in this one, I've got an insane number of <laughs> boards and sensors. Got stacks and stacks of Arduinos and shields. And yeah, this has been very helpful in organizing the space. So I highly recommend this. Now we're over at the 3D printing station, currently 3D printing something for a future video. Here, I've got my Raspberry Pi running OctoPrint on it, which I highly recommend if you have a 3D printer. I have the CR10 Mini. So this case for it is really good. Tons of them on Thingiverse. I like this one, doesn't really matter which one you like. Here is a really awesome 3D print that goes on this CR10 or CR10 mini outside part here. And you can see you can hold all of your different tools in here, as well as this is a spot for the Raspberry Pi, but I just keep it over here. And then also on the 3D printer, you can see this little wheel over here. I should have one for all of them, I don't, but it makes it much easier to level it. it gives you a lot of that mechanical advantage that you want. You guys like to have all your drill bits organized? Clearly, I don't. You can print out a little thing like this. This is made out of PETG, but it doesn't really matter what you use. It's just really awesome. And you can find tons of these online. Now, if you guys have tons of USB sticks and SD and micro SD cards, this is a really good print. Little USB cables, this is really good. But now let's get to the final thing. If you guys like entertainment and virtual reality, you can print out these virtual reality headset holders and these different uh, holders for different parts of it. So yeah. Now, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you really like this video and share it because that's really, really helpful for me. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.